Lafayette Parish Correctional Center says it has effectively run out of space. And after the governor's special session on crime, that problem could get worse. So here's the thing. The whole system is backlogged for a multitude of reasons. First, sheriff's departments across the state are short-staffed, sparking the governor to call a state of emergency. The jail does technically have more space available, but officials say that it's infeasible to open up without the manpower to operate it. Then there's the jail population itself. A lot of people are there awaiting court dates, sometimes for months or years, which keeps those beds full. They've mainly taken in the worst offenders, which may be contributing to the jail's claims that it has a more violent prison population. And with all those factors at hand, police are forced to make on-the-fly decisions on who to arrest. But make no mistake, Lafayette police officers say people who would otherwise be arrested are instead on the streets. The police's hands are tied. Arrests have become much more of a hassle to navigate. Not only do people wait hours or even days to be processed, because an officer has to stay with them, it ties up cops who would otherwise be out on patrol. And while all of this is happening, Governor Landry's special session brings on a massive overhaul of the state's criminal justice system, with bills that will keep people in prisons longer likely becoming law. HB 9 will revoke parole for people who commit crimes after August 1st of 2024, HB 10 would significantly reduce the amount of a sentence that could be shaved off through good behavior, and SB 3 lowers the age to be tried as an adult to 17 years old. With the prison population likely to only grow larger and uncertain future for law enforcement recruitment, it's not clear exactly how Lafayette will be able to adjust. We'll just have to wait and see. What are your thoughts on the story? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Elliot Wade and this is Lafayette.